Hey everyone, so here I have a key for a Honda. This is a 2011 Honda Odyssey, and I gotta replace the battery inside of it. So it should be fairly simple to do, but I didn't see any videos up showing this specific one. Uh, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this screw right here. And then after we do that, there should be right here, you can kind of see right there, that there's like a little kind of slot there to put a screwdriver in to pop this piece to this piece off. So let's do that, all right, let's go. All right, so I grabbed this uh, tool set that I have here from Lowe's, and uh, I like this one because it has a lot of small pieces. Here's a flat head, which I think will fit nicely on this side over here, so I think that'll be okay. So now let's find uh, a Phillips head here that will fit. I think we'll need the smallest one, which I think this thing calls it a 000, zero, zero as a size. Uh, let me see where it is. Here it is. I think it's this one right here. All right, so let's put this one on here and see if we can loosen that little screw. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, it wasn't too tight. I think it's loosening. Let's see. All right, so it seemed like I kind of wore this off a little bit so i'm using now a flathead to pull it out and now it seems to be coming out so i guess be careful with it mine seemed like it was pretty rusted so it kind of started falling apart in the moment i started moving it but this key fob is like 11 years old so okay so there's coming off so yeah i guess be more careful with it I wasn't super careful and uh, I think it's now kind of destroyed. So I might have to just go to the hardware store and buy a little screw like this to put in here. Uh, in any case, it seems like it came out. Oh, there it is. So there's a screw. And yeah, I guess be more careful with it, but might even have one of those laying around somewhere anyways so that's a screw so this came off and now let's pop this off here okay so it just comes that just comes off super simple from here so i think i've done this before because i see marks on there so here there we go so i didn't even have to even take it off the keychain it um basically allows you to open it up fairly easily there And look in here, pop this out. Okay, so then here, once you get this out, um, there's a little tab here. I think we have to push this in. And slightly tilt it a little bit here, and then it comes off. And then now, here we have the battery to replace. So now we have to pick up a battery like this. Let's see what kind it is. Oh, this side has a little tab here. There we go. Okay, so it's a 2025, CR 2025. This is a Sony one. So that's what we gotta get. So let's grab one of those. All right, so I got another battery here, so let's pop this guy in. All right, so then after we do that, we should be able to just close this up here. Let's see, there's taps on both sides, so I think it'll just snap back in. That snapped. All right, so there it snapped back in. So let's try it out and see if it works. So that you can hear my car outside. So that works. Uh, okay, so then I guess I damaged a screw. <laughs> but other than that, uh, this is how you replace this, okay? So close this back up here, close it here, and then it'll snap back in. There, snapped in. All right, so then now uh, I'll look and see if I can find another screw like this. If not, I can probably still 
use this one. It's a little damaged, but it will go in. So just let me try that real quick and see what happens. So yes, just be a little more careful. I threw a little bit of WD-40 on there to help it uh, turn, and that's how I got it out. But uh, just be more careful with it. I mean, these get replaced maybe once every, I don't know, five years or something. So, Let's see if I can go back to this one here, the Phillips. Okay, it's slowly going in. that gets in there all right make sure it still works yeah all right so that's the way you can replace this fairly fairly quickly <laughs> all right if you like these uh, videos please definitely like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one thanks